Starling speeds flattening out in the U.S.? Uh Uh-oh, we might have some concerns here. Let's take a look at the story. Elon Musk's satellite internet company seems to be hitting a speed plateau. This report from Ookla, speedtest.net data, median download speeds between Q2 and Q3 2021 saw a decrease from 97 megabits to 87 megabits. In and of itself, that doesn't seem like much, but this is an industry that does reward speed increases, right? You need more capacity. You need more speed if it's going to help people. All right. So Santa Fe County, New Mexico saw the fastest median download speeds on Starlink at 146 megabits. Uh, Drummond Township, Michigan, 46 megabits. So there's your high and your low for averages. Now, if you look at the general competition within the market, SpaceX Starlink now averaging 87 megabits per second on the downlink, 13 and a half on the uplink, with a 44 millisecond latency. Compared to HughesNet, they're absolutely killing them. Almost a five-fold improvement over the downlink speed, six-fold improvement over uplink, and the latency is not even in the same realm. If you look at Viasat, it's very similar. You look at fixed wireless access in general, SpaceX is, you know, with, with Starlink is right there, right there at 87 megabits, fixed wireless access around 120. So calling a spade a spade, the fixed wireless option is better, looking at latency, uplink, and downlink. But there's a lot of room for improvement for Starlink, and they're definitely going to get better. I personally think this is just part of the growing pains. I don't think this is much of a big deal. I'm still big on Starlink. Thanks for watching. Your thoughts and opinions welcome down below.